Hey everybody, Eddie here with Burnt Meat Farm, your neighborhood Hispanic market. Hey, wanted to create this quick video for you guys to introduce something new that's going on here. So, changing times and just keeping the customers in mind, you guys, we want to add a little bit more convenience to your shopping journey. So, we decided to launch an online store. So, in this video, I want to walk you guys through how to use that online store powered by Mercado and then also place in an order for pickup today or delivery. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'm on the Burnt Meat Farm website. You just saw me click on Shop Online so you can access the Mercado webpage. So you scroll down a bit. If you've ever shopped online, you're noticing the pictures, the description, as well as the pricing. So Mercado is pretty easy to use. Um, today I'm actually going to go ahead and shop for a traditional Caribbean meal. And it'll be about a few ingredients here. So first thing I want to take a look at is, um, so let's go ahead and search by department. First thing I want to buy is my meat. Um, so let's go ahead to the meat department. We know that, oh, there it is, top sirloin. We know we're going to have top sirloin for, for today in Spanish called palomilla. And we wanted at least, a, uh, it's not a big family, we wanted a lot, about a pound and a half. So you go ahead and click the add sign or the plus sign. Click it a few times until we get to a pound and a half. All right, there it is. So once it reaches the pound and a half, you don't have to do anything else. It automatically moves it over to the cart, to the shopping cart. So go ahead and click that, show you what that, show you guys what that looks like. All right, so close out. So let's go ahead and continue shopping. We've got our meat, and we know that traditionally we a Caribbean meal needs rice for the most part. Um, so let's take a look at what kind of options we have for rice here at Bird Meat Farm. So um, as I mentioned, not a huge family. You just want rice for about a night or two. So we'll go ahead and add this uh, bag of rice here, 48 ounces. So that's added to 89 each. Uh, so we know the pricing really quick and easy there. So then now we've got our meat. Taking a look at my grocery list. We've got our meat. We've got our rice. Now let's go ahead and get our beans. After we get our beans, we'll go ahead and get an avocado to complete our list. All right, so beans. I could go over to the pantry department. We'll find a tons of beans there but we want to get really specific so let's go ahead and look for beans here all right so let's see what options we have I'm actually looking for black beans I love black beans with my right white rice and my uh, top sirloin so let's go ahead and add a 15 ounces 15 ounce can of black beans so we've added that to the cart so we've got three items remember you guys so then lastly we want to add the avocado to complete our purchase All right, now that we've add, looked up the avocado, it seems like there's two options here. I want the small one, pretty good flavor in those. And that pretty much completes my order. I can continue to search for department, see what else we have available. You know what? Oh, well, there's a feature there. Looks like milk is ordered pretty frequently from Bird Meat Farm. So go ahead and add milk. You never go wrong with another gallon of milk, right, you guys? So now that we've completed our order, let's go ahead and tap into Mercado. So $8 minimum to order for Burnt Meat Farm for area codes that are 49507 or 49509, delivery is free. Anything outside of that, DoorDash or Postmates will deliver. So it's a service provided by Mercado. Um, and don't forget, you guys can also pick up in-store for free at any time. Let's go ahead and proceed to check out. I believe I'm already signed in. Yep, so I'm already signed in. Typically, um, you know, if you're a new customer, you'll be prompted to enter in your information, such as your contact, your name, and number. Uh, the, uh, there it is, the delivery address. So you have your delivery address um, in case you, you want this for delivery, and then you have your pickup option. So you get to choose from either one of these two. As you can see, pickup is free, and then delivery. All right, so then if you, if you see here that standard is $4.99, it's pretty much the standard delivery that's being charged by either DoorDash or Postmates. And then you could opt into Mercado's um, sort of like a subscription uh, program where you could have free delivery um, for a certain amount of times throughout the month. So I want to go ahead and I'm actually going to do pickup. Um, you know, I've tried delivery. If you've ever ordered through Amazon, it's pretty much the same thing. It ends up on your doorstep or whatever preferences you might have. So... Um, I'm going to do pickup, and I want that bright and early in the morning just before I get into work, bring it back home. Um, again, green unlimited free delivery services, subscription fee that I mentioned about Mercado. No thanks. Um, go ahead and continue. 
Um, and I should already have my MasterCard in there if I already created my account. Um, so I go ahead and place my order. All right. So before I do that, um, I remembered that there was something I was missing about the way I want my top sirloin uh, state cut up. So let's go back over to the Mercado UI um, user interface that I was prompted to and click back into my basket. So we see here that we have preference options. So in the preferences for the, for the top sirloin steak, I want my top sirloin steak to be at least a quarter of an inch thick when cutting it. Um, so we'll do that, a quarter of an inch slices, um, just to make sure that the butcher is aware as to how he needs to fulfill that order. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and proceed to check out again. Um, one last thing I want to mention to you guys is that as a customer, you're able to decide whether you want to replace the, any items that are out of stock. Um, contact me to verify if I should replace those items and what items I'm going to replace those with or don't contact me at all. Just save it and replace those items. Or you could also say, you know, don't replace items, which means that if you don't have an item, don't add it to my list and just, um, you know, modify it that way. So we have about five items we did pick up. Um, so there's pickup is free, of course, and then there's a subtotal of 1920. Let's go ahead and place the order. So now I've just placed my order. Um, now that I've got the order, you as a customer should receive this thanks, um, you know, your order confirmation here, and then the thank you email. So if you have your email up, um, you would be able to access that. Um, just take a look at what it looks like when it comes over on your email. So um, we know we just ordered. Now I can take a look at the email that I was just sent after placing my order. So you can see the steak, et cetera. And that's ready to go. One thing to take a look at is that, um, as you can see down below here, is that your card will be temporarily authorized for about a few dollars more than what the original total is. And that's only because there might be slight differences, as, as mentioned here, in size of weight per product um, that we might have chosen. I don't think there'd be much issue here other than the meat, but typically it, um, you know, we strive and make sure that the exact weight um, is provided to you guys as to what's being ordered. All right. So as you can see, um, you know, we have the Mercado order is ready for pickup between 8 and 9 a.m. on Monday. And you're picking it up here at Burn Meat Farm, 435 Burn Street, Southwest Grand Rapids. Awesome. So I just walked you guys through Mercado, how to order, and hopefully that helps out any customer that's new to our store or the online store. Um, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later on. Thank you.